let's get a tactical. Let's get tactical. Let's design for success. And when we think about designing for success, we need to like channel our inner Stephen Covey and begin with the end in mind. Let's begin with the end in mind. So let's say that our goal, our objective is to get to the top of a mountain, okay? We wanna get up to the top of the mountain. Now, ideally, if we don't get up to the top of the mountain and jump off the mountain, we wanna to get to the top of the mountain. So how do we, how do we figure, how do we get there? Well, we know where we wanna go, Z. We know where we are today, A. And there are a couple of paths that we can take. One path is, if you've got it, you can take a helicopter. A helicopter will get you to the top of the mountain. It is gonna cost a lot of money. And actually, that, it's out of the frame. It is going to cost a lot of money and it brings on some unnecessary risk. You might be okay with those risks. You might be able to afford the trip. You might be able to get there. One way is a helicopter. I don't have a helicopter. So the way that I would get up there is I would climb, I would walk, I would hike. Okay, so we might have a base camp here. That might be, so X, Y, that would be Y. We might have a base camp here, X, X, Y, Z. And down here, we might be W. This might be where we need to be. And then the cool thing about this is we can start to identify what are the actual steps that happen all the way through this individual progression. How do we design backward so that we can execute forward? Design backward so that we can execute forward. We know where we wanna go. We know where we are. Let's figure out some steps, next logical steps that we can take to get from where we are to where we are to where we want to go. So let's go and design for B, C, and D. Now we have some conversions that we have to work through. And if you're managing a sales cycle, if you're implementing change inside an organization, this is where you can go through and lay out some plans. You can have uh, some meetings. A meeting might convert someone from A to B meaning you have a conversation, this looks like a call plan intentionally, you have a conversation around what is getting rolled out, what needs to happen next, how it's going to happen and who's gonna do what. Then you might actually have some documentation. There might be some websites, documentation that you send people to, again, to help get through that conversion from A to B and the conversion from B to C. And then there might actually be, let's, just put it in here, we'll call it a podcast, some audio that's available that will help, and we'll look at that as another kind of call plan, some audio that will help someone get from C to D. What's my point? We know where we are, we have an idea of where we want to be, we design backward and start to identify what are some of those steps that we'll get to just before we get to the end. And then we've gotta fill out this whole piece in the middle. And as we get new information, as we get new information, then we can start to determine, are we actually making progress toward the goal? Have we made it through B, C, and D? If so, is it, we can keep moving forward. If for whatever reason, we found ourselves in like A minus one, we went backward because we started to go down the wrong path, now we can course correct and we can adjust. So let's design backward execute forward, identify next logical steps, and then start taking those. Let's think about a simple example, super simple example. Now this one, we're getting up to the top of a mountain. Some of what we might be managing an entire sales cycle. Let's just say that we want to pick up a dozen eggs at the grocery store, okay? So we wanna go pick up a dozen eggs at the grocery store. Now, typically, we're gonna go through and we're gonna say, all right, I'm just gonna get in the car, I'm gonna drive over to the grocery store, and I'm gonna get and pick up those eggs. Well, you can do that, but what happens if you forget to grab your wallet? Well, you might be able to use Apple Pay on your phone, but let's say you forget to grab your wallet. Well, now you've gotta turn around and come back. Or let's say that you forget to look to see if you actually have butter in the fridge to make those eggs. Well, you're gonna to have to turn around and come back. So let's think about what we're doing. Ultimately, if we want eggs, we're gonna make eggs. That's an egg there for you or anybody else that's watching. 
Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to put the eggs, we, in order to get good eggs and have them on a plate, we need to make them on the stove. If that's how you make your eggs, that's how I do. I fry them in a little bit of butter. In order to fry those eggs in a little bit of butter, I have to have butter and I have to have eggs. So now I know I need to have eggs and butter and a little bit of salt too. Okay, so let's work backward. Inside the refrigerator, I have butter. Outside of the refrigerator near the stove, I have salt. What I'm missing are my eggs. Okay, well now I need to go to the store and grab some eggs. So I'm gonna design, I'm gonna to go to the store. I'm gonna have a list. I'm gonna make sure that I get in the car, take the car, actually the Jeep. We're gonna take the Jeep. That's gonna be, that's a weird drawing of a Jeep. And in order to do that, I've gotta have keys. And in order to, to do that, I've gotta make sure if, they, if I can't find the keys, I've gotta, if they didn't put the keys where they belong, I've gotta go look around the house and try to find them. We can design for success. Success can, can, some people are gonna look at this and say, I don't need to put that much thinking into going and get a, a piece, of, getting some eggs. If you want to improve the likelihood of you picking up the right eggs at the right time and making the right eggs in that, on that stove and having all of the things there for you when you do it, design backward from success and then start executing forward. Simplify your approach to getting things done.